Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Tool Shop, and today I'm starting part two of the hydraulic forging press. Now, in between part one and two, I've had a lot of math, a lot of research I've had to do into this forging press. With that being said, means that I've just gone ahead and done a lot of it. A lot of it um, is very specific to the parts I'm using. I can make up plans and that will be in those as to all the details for everything. Let's show you the press. So as of right now, I have not turned it on, I have not tested it, there's no oil in it. All the lines are completed. These guys, I'm not sure if I'll have to switch these two lines or not because I'm not sure which one goes to up and down as to whether I move lever up or down as to what happens. Once again, that's kind of a test that I have to do for once I get it going. Same thing with this gauge. This gauge isn't staying in place constantly. This is just so I can test it. I'm going to be setting the relief valve on this to my system pressure. I'll be coming in and actually changing, so actually releasing this and closing this up so it looks like this. But yeah, so this but. is kind of an overview of the press. You have a have the hydraulic cylinder down there, valve up here. Um, I'm still not done, it's probably going to be a project for tomorrow morning of me attaching something that I can put onto here that goes down to the foot pedal. Um, that's another thing I did off camera as well. Piece of diamond plate, um, I figured probably better than two separate foot pedals across one bar just to have a big foot pedal because I'm not sure if, you know, I might have to do something like way over here or in the middle. It's going to be com like I'm not sure where it's going to be comfortable for me. So at least this, I have a large variety. I figured it's just kind of something with a little bit of texture on it and nothing I had to go to my way to fabricate a texture on. With the unit that I'm using, and the one thing I've heard that's kind of a big issue with these plastic ones, there's going to be hot metal falling down that if that hits could possibly melt and cause leaks. So just fabricated up this little spark guard and there will be rubber on top of that afterwards. And this is kind of the back of the press. So you can see all the hoses come down here into my pump. And then these two lines go nice and neatly snug, snug around to the cylinder. So it's the next day. Uh, let's put some oil in this guy and fire it up. fit it up. I got the oil in it now. I'm just gonna fire it up now. I'm gonna be standing like way back over there with the plug and everything because then I don't have a switch for it yet. It's the weekend so I can't go out and get one. So I'm just gonna be plugging it in, pulling it out. And then as long as I don't see anything going out the sides of it, then I'll come over and uh, start trying to adjust the relief valve and uh, checking the gauge and everything and see if about start squishing some wood. Fire this guy up. Three, two, one. Alright, so one issue right away, uh, there's a little leak right on this NPT fitting. That's number one reason why I'm going to be taking this gauge out afterwards because 
these threads are just not... I do not trust NPTs, especially for this high pressure. Look at that, though. Like, that is freaking insane! Like, that is... That's 19 tons! Of course! Holy crap! That's insane! This is inch and a half, one eighth wall, that I just want to see what happens to it cold. Oh, this doesn't have a right. That's unfortunate. And it's just mushrooms. That is freaking insane. I, I I can't wait to start. Putting the hot steel in this. First thoughts on this, like, absolutely insane. I love the speed of it, I'm very happy that I did the proper calculations for everything. I got the gauge set, this is gonna be a lot of fun. I'm gonna spend the rest of the day, uh, I gotta, gotta finish, I gotta weld up on to here the actual die holders for the press. And then I also need to attach the foot valve because that would have been, especially like, as you saw, when I went to go put in this piece of square tubing to squish, um, I definitely was like, all right, let's, and foot pedal doesn't have anything connected up to it yet. Definitely be an easy fix. I already have the steel for it. I just need to actually make it and attach it. I'm going to call this end of part two for a little overview and testing. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you guys thought this was as cool as I did. Um, yeah, I've had a few people actually that have been messaging that they would like to see me make some plans for this. So, uh, yeah, if you're interested in getting a set of those, make sure to let me know down in the comments. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, comment what you thought down below, and we'll see you in part three.